Hello, I'm Taz and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to be recording the next episode in our save file series where I'm renovating every single lot in all of the Sims worlds and using your Sims to create their houses. If you want to upload some Sims for the save file, upload them to the gallery, give them a backstory and make sure you upload them with the hashtag TazKabaz save file and all of the houses that I am building are going to be based around your Sims and their backstory. So make sure to give enough detail for me to work with and let's get started with today's save file family. If you do enjoy this video then please do give it a like, pop a comment down below as it lets me know that you are actually enjoying the save file series and hit that subscribe button if you do want to see more of the save file series as well. And let's get started. And let me introduce you to the Selleck family who were created by Westwood Law on the Sims 4 gallery. And Laura is one of my lovely, lovely friends that I've met through Twitch and she's also a Twitch streamer. She streams a little bit of Sims and Stardew Valley so do go and check her out. Give her a follow and drop into her streams when you can. You will love her. She's a sweetheart. We have got Renee Selleck, who is married to Kingston Selleck. And then we have got Ren Selleck, the daughter of Renee and Kingston, and her daughter Kaylin, and Kaylin's gorgeous little baby puppy Millie. And the story behind the Selleck family. We have got Kingston, who is extremely charismatic, and he is a former star at Plumbob Pictures, which is a performing arts company, and he was really, really popular, but he doesn't do that anymore. He is married to Renee, who is an artist and a writer. So in her spare time, she does a lot of drawings, she writes books, things like that. Both Kingston and Renee are extremely active, so Kingston enjoys spending time over at the gym, he loves to work out and keep himself fit. Renee also loves to do yoga in her spare time and that is her way that she likes to relax. And recently their daughter Ren has moved back into the family home with her daughter Kaylin and her puppy Millie. Ren is super ambitious and really career focused. We don't know exactly what her career is but we could give her a few different activities to cover all basis. And whilst Ren is at work, Renee is teaching her granddaughter Kaylin to write, to paint, bringing out her super, super creative side and also keeping her occupied while her mum is out at work and doing what she needs to do. And we are going to be moving the Selleck family into the house that was formerly owned by Bob and Eliza Pancakes. And it is called Peak Hearth, I think? Don't know exactly how to say it, but that's what it's called. So that's what we'll be referring it to as. That's what we'll go with aka the pancakes house. Now I've given them a pretty good starting fund of 150,000 simoleons since Kingston was a part of Plum Bob Pictures, probably had a pretty good acting career or you know performing arts career, um, probably even more. Um, so I might add to it as well and especially the starting fund after the build will probably be pretty extensive. Okay so hello and welcome back. So we are back with another save file. Now I think this is episode 8 of the save file series so far and I think because the houses are getting a little bit bigger it's getting a lot longer for me to record them um, and it's taking a lot more time so I'm trying my best to get as many out as I can but this weekend I should have had this this particular one out on Saturday but I just didn't have time I ended up um, going to see a friend um, for the first time in a long long time and I just didn't have time um, I'd recorded half of the video and I didn't have time to record the second half so here it is now and for this episode we have got a lovely lovely family so we've got Kingston who is married to Renee and then Renee has her daughter Ren and then we've got Kaylin, um, Ren's daughter and then the Shih Tzu puppy Millie which I think Laura based off of my Shih Tzu puppy I have a dog called Millie that is a Shih Tzu as well so I think Laura wanted to add a little bit of touch of me there um, with adding Millie to the family as well um, but so Kingston, I imagine, um, so in the description, Laura called him Charismatic Kingston. So I, in thinking about it, I imagine maybe that was um, Kingston's kind of stage name, or maybe that's how people knew him. Um, he was a former star at Plum Bob Pictures, which I'm assuming, as I said, is like a kind of performing arts thing kind of maybe like warner brothers or something like that perhaps um so maybe he's he's a star at that he's recently retired he no longer does that anymore but that was his stage name so like kind of like maybe not as big as but maybe like dwayne johnson like the rock kind of maybe charismatic kingston was what he what people used to call him so he's married to renee now renee what were we told renee is an artist and a writer 
So I did make sure to give Renee her own little office where she has an easel to do all of her art. And in doing that, she's also got um, a small little kiddie easel like crafting station as well for Kaylin, her granddaughter, to learn a little bit about art and writing, I guess, maybe. Um, so yeah, she's got her own little area to do that. That's maybe how she kind of, what she gets up to in her days um, and what she likes to do. Um, Kaylin obviously is the daughter of Ren. So Ren, we know she works and we know she has a job. I'm not 100% sure what her job is, um, but they have moved back into the family home and it's quite a large family home. It is a three bedroom and I think three bathroom family home. Um, so there's one bathroom downstairs and then there's two en suites upstairs for the adults. So Renee and Kingston both have their own ensuite and Ren has an ensuite as well. Kaylin's got like a separate room, but that's 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 kind of the layout of the house. Um, but I quite liked this house. I, I, I'm trying to fit in with the exact same style as the ones around. I'm trying to make sure they're all looking fairly similar as it is in one neighborhood in Willow Creek. So I do want them to look kind of similar in the design style of how they are. Um, but I also gave this family a good starting fund. So I think they had about 250,000. Actually, no, I think I gave them, I think I gave them 150,000 maybe. And then through deleting the parts of the house that were already there, they then got 250,000 to build the house with. Bear in mind, this was also Bob and Eliza Pancakes' house. So they used to live here. They've been kicked out, left to fend for themselves in the wild. Um, and now um, this family have moved in. Um, <laughs> so I don't know exactly what the story probably could be for. Um, so Renee and Kingston, obviously their daughter Ren has moved back in. Maybe it could be a case of um, we don't know where, say, Kaylin's dad is. Um, perhaps something went wrong there. So Ren and Kaylin did have to move back in with um, Ren's parents. Perhaps something like that. We don't know, um, which is why with Safe File, unless you're told otherwise, we can kind of make up a story with that. So I'm going to suspect that Ren um, perhaps was living with Kaylin's father. Um, maybe because she's quite ambitious very career focused perhaps something went wrong there and they no longer are together um so i'm gonna say that ren has got majority custody of the child um kaylin perhaps sees her father on weekends we don't know this is what we can kind of plan i guess you lot can give ideas as well if you do if you do want to but obviously if you lot are going to be like if it like when the save file is complete um you lot can can do your own stories but this is kind of what i'm interpreting as um so yeah so they there was complications there so they've moved in with um ren's parents once again into the family home that they grew up in um so this was where kingston and renee brought up um ren and um yeah this is this is the home that they live in i also what was i gonna say i was gonna suggest something else as well um what was i gonna say to you lot oh i know what i was gonna say so i was gonna say um oh wait <laughs> one minute is there one minute it's gone what was it oh i know what it was if um so with the save file series now i've actually never done a save file before so i don't know exactly how it works but i'm sure there's tutorials online about it but would it be better for me to upload the save file world by world or would it be better to wait until it's all done and upload it as a full save file if anyone does have experience with building save files and knows um let, please do let me know in the comments if it would be better to upload it complete or world by world um, but here we are now designing the interior. So I wanted to give it kind of like an old fashioned aesthetic um, as we do have um, Renee and Kingston who um, maybe have a different kind of design style of their house to what um, to what Ren and Kaylin would probably do. But I think because this is a childhood home, um, it's probably changed over the years as well. So for example, downstairs, downstairs is quite homey and just cozy kind of old fashioned kind of style. Whereas in Kaylin's bedroom, you'll see in a little bit, it's just pink, pink everywhere. I thought like, if I was a child, what kind of pink bedroom would I want? And I, I designed it based off of what I want. Considering a dog's called Millie, I thought, do you know what? We may as well just go with me and <laughs> what I would want when I was a child. So it's very pink, but you'll see that in a little bit. We also have like a formal dining room as well as the Bob Pancakes house originally was fairly big too. Um, so this house, I 
shaped and maneuvered it around a lot. Um, so it's quite large. There's a lot of rooms that we can have. So we've got the dining room, we've got the main lounge living area. Um, we've got a downstairs bathroom as well. And there's also um, Renee's separate office space too. Um, I didn't know exactly what to do for Kingston. Um, like what kind of hobbies he might do now but we do know that he does both of them like to go to the gym so i didn't add gym things i might actually add a few gym equipments in maybe in the garden um but i'd assumed maybe um when we do build willow creek we are going to be doing a gym i think as one of the community lots um so perhaps that they would visit that maybe i'm quite excited to get to the community lots i think in willow creek i do want to get through the different neighborhoods so i don't want to be going from like house over to like an, uh, another side of the neighborhood i do kind of want to keep it where i'm getting doing one neighborhood and then i'll do the next one um like the next one after this neighborhood there's a few more houses in this but the next one after this is the goth house um and that's going to be tricky like these are some big houses um so it's <laughs> we will see how quickly we get through these i also have another um plan or YouTube um, of some videos that I do want to record and I think I'm going to be recording so I don't know in comparison to this video how closely the next set of videos are going to be out um, but yeah so bear in mind it might be sporadic uploads at the minute um, as I have a plan for something else of uh, for Sims and YouTube and you'll see um, <laughs> but yeah lots of exciting things um, I haven't been uploading to YouTube as I, as I said earlier I haven't really been uploading recently apart from my little youtube shorts which a lot of them were inspired by tiktok things as well um so if you do want to check out the youtube shorts you can do that um but do keep uploading to the safe file and i will get to the builds as i can i think bear in mind that because the next lot of builds are quite big i feel like my brain's like telling me like come on <laughs> you can do this you can do this it's big um i think because it takes a long long time um is what it's it's putting me off a little bit but i will i will get through this we've got this and I'm glad that I did start with the smaller neighbourhood in Willow Creek as well because those houses were quite small, quite easy to manage. Um, but we've got this. Now, the downstairs of the build is kind of coming along now. We've done um, toilet paper. <laughs> I just saw that I put some in there. Previous Taz put some in. Yeah, we've done um, all of the main rooms here. Just working on the downstairs bathroom too. Um, this would probably be like a guest bathroom, like a, if people are over for dinners or anything like that because there are two bathrooms upstairs obviously the daughter doesn't have her very own bathroom um but all the adults do so ren ren and, and kingston have one sorry not ren uh, renee and kingston and ren has her one too um so you can probably work out which room is which here so we've got the main kind of hallway landing area where they come up the stairs and they're in the upstairs also i remember to add um bowls for the dog Millie as well but I did put Millie's bedroom or Millie's um bed into um Kaylin's bedroom because I thought well it is her dog so <laughs> she might want her sleeping in the same bedroom as her so obviously this is this is uh, Kaylin's bedroom pink perfect like I I would want this as a child <laughs> with Millie like that would be so cute and cozy like my real dog um is called Millie um, so I made it like that. And then you've got, um, did I actually, do you know, I'm just thinking, I don't think I did give Renee and Kingston an ensuite bathroom. I think the upstairs one is actually a main bathroom. Come to think of it. No, I know what I did. I gave Renee and Kingston a walk-in wardrobe. Yeah, okay. No, I'm 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 backtracking here. Yeah, so actually Ren is the only one with an ensuite. But Renee and Kingston do have they've got their own walk-in wardrobe and the bathroom's actually directly next to them location-wise. So that's where I was getting confused, yeah. Anyway, we were told that um so Renee teaches Kaylin to do art and to write, which I thought was really, really cute. Like um grandmum gram grandmum? Grandmother teaching her granddaughter how to do the things that she loves kind of thing, I suppose. Um, very cute little bonding activities. Um, so also while Ren is at work, so say if she's working till late and the daughter comes home from school, I'd imagine that maybe the grandparents would help her with like homework 
or just whatever cooked dinner things like that um we also know sorry i'm getting uncomfy <laughs> we also know that um renee likes to do yoga so she likes to relax doing yoga so i did add um some of the spa day equipment um is it spa day or is it fitness i think it's spa day the like yoga mat and i think it's the pilates little um seat chair thingy my bob um so they are in the back garden i thought it would be nice to put them in the back garden so while she's out there she can look out in the backyard um i kept the back garden similar size to what the bob pancakes what the bob pancakes what the pan what bob and eliza pancakes um how they used to have their back garden so it's a similar size um but i did add a few extra things such as like a well uh, i upgraded the barbecue that they had i added some planters i added the bees i think as well as a gardening table there too but coming back in here, back inside, um, we've also got this. So this is, yeah, this is the main upstairs ensuite. No, the main bathroom upstairs. So it's not the ensuite one. Um, I keep getting confused with what's what's, what's what's what and what's going on. Um, but we are getting there. Uh, I st what, what I've been doing as well, and I need to keep backtracking and editing, is I keep mixing up stories. So... I'll look at the like stories from previous save files and then start including them into this current one. And I'm like, no, that was that family. This is a completely whole new family. Like, get with it. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah. So this is, because this was the biggest room, I gave this obviously to Kingston and Renee because I'd imagine, you know, this is their house. Like, they've had this house ever since um, Ren would have been growing up. And this is the room. I don't know why I didn't give them the ensuite. I think because it was just a bigger room but they do have a walk-in closet i was i was deterred like i was kind of i didn't know whether to make that walk-in area an ensuite or a closet but i thought because there was a bathroom downstairs we were going to do a bathroom upstairs anyway and then i ended up giving ren her own ensuite so i thought do you know what we will make this a closet because then that would have been four bathrooms so i thought yeah four one two yeah that would have been four bathrooms so I thought, no, this is probably the best way to map this out and do this. And I think it did work out well. It looked fine in the end. I added radiators everywhere. I love the vampires pack um, for the radiators. Like vampires pack, to be fair, has some good items anyway. But the radiators are just great. I really, really love that. And I, I think it adds a little bit of realism into um, the build, which reminds me, I am going to be downloading some Sims mods um, to add a little bit to gameplay. If you do know of any Sims mods that would be cool, um, I have spoken to Clary Mary about it and she recommended one. Um, so if you do know any, let me know in the comments. Uh, but there you go. And this build is kind of coming to an end. These are just me adding the last little touches um, to the build. And yeah, I think it fits in perfectly with the neighborhood. I think it's 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 pretty decent as well for the family. And um, there we go. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please do give the video a thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments and let me know how you're enjoying the save file series as well. The comments are genuinely helping so, so much because it means it means that you lot are enjoying it and it's um, kind of motivating me to carry on with it um, because with these big buildings, it can be a little bit like intimidating. But I am trying to power through and uh, yeah, I am having fun. And of course, hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos from me and don't forget to turn notifications on as well if you want to keep up to date with the videos when they do come out. Thank you for watching the video. Take care and I will see you next time. Taz out.